you would you like to come and play at, in the party in the after show right like, yeah great let's do it let's do it so we go over to another venue in the same on the same site the indigo right. um and there's like 3,000 people. Out of the 23,000 that came to the main show, 3,000 have bought tickets for that. And I, I now know it was the first time that they'd made that experiment of actually making the after show party mm-hmm. a public event. Right. You know, and I, and I didn't, you know, but I didn't know at the time that um, Prince would always do his money show and then just for spirit, just for the music, have a, have a part, have a music party yeah. after yeah. some, and usually it'd be completely private and he'd only tell his, the people that he trusted, his fans that he trusted. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's a, such a beautiful endeavor, you know, a beautiful thing to do. Um, but on this occasion, it was different. It was public tickets. So anyone could go. And it, he'd been doing this every time. And as, as my understanding goes, most of those nights, people had just stood there listening to the album on the, on the intercom. Okay. So it was shit. Cause he, yeah. he just didn't feel that it, it didn't feel it was happening or, or maybe the support band, you know, the artists that had come and done the support set, he might've asked them if they don't do the after show, when, when did the after show, he wasn't digging it. So that was it. Yeah. Disappointment you know? for the fans, but yeah, for real. <laughs> um, so he he'd never made an appearance on the after show. So we went and played, and we just played the set. So it's a little bit. I mean, it's all right, but it's a little bit weird because these people have just seen us play this set, and we're playing the same set. You yeah, know, didn't yeah. do any other songs. We just played the set, which felt a little bit odd. Um, and the sound was brilliant. His his crew were amazing. Really looked after us. And then we finished the set. And it was even more embarrassing because they we just stopped. They we were asked to stay on stage. They didn't put any music on, and there was a bit of discussion going on on the other side off the wings. And but we as a band were just looking at sort of three thousand people going. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's going to happen there? What are we doing? Yeah. Yeah. What are we doing? And um, the MD says, right, we're going to do that that one, um, the one, you know, the one with the silo in from earlier in the set. And I'm like, OK, so we're going to do a song for the third time to the same audience <laughs> without jamming it, without opening it up just the same way. Right. So it's like, this is embarrassing now. OK, um, so we play the song. It gets to the guitar solo. It's not our guitarist playing the solo. Ah, uh-huh, yeah. And the place erupted, you know, like just, it literally felt like 3,000 people levitating. That's something, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he came on, he played a solo, he went off, he sent Maceo on to jam with us for a bit. Maceo came on, went off. Some of the other horns came on, went off. Eventually, all, all of his four horns came on uh, with a few of his band. Um, they had this little trick they played where they, um, we in horn sections, we have this thing called a solly. You know what that is? Uh, not the word solly. So solly means a pre-prepared um, feature okay. where it sounds like a solo, but everyone's playing together in harmony. Okay. So it's a, like, a, like a party piece, really. Right, right. And so, so the... And it, it was about 16 bars long. So, so Maceo and the guys started playing this solly. And me and my trumpet players trying to catch up with it. And we're just like, that's really hard. <laughs> How can we jam to that? And we're like, ugh, ugh. right. And then they go for it again. We're trying. We still can't get it. <laughs> um, and then suddenly there's a technician at our side. And he says, hey, guys, have a beer. Uh-huh. Here's a couch just for you. Enjoy the show. We're like, ah, <laughs> okay. So, so, and the, all the band had had the same experience at the same time. It's like, you know, we're going to take it from here, guys. 